Hi guys, welcome to Tech Freaks Info. With the help of this animation, let's learn how a dry sum lubricating system actually works. Dry sum lubricating system is the best lubricating system for internal combustion engines. This is why Formula One cars, sports racing cars, and other high end model cars use them. Let's see the components first. Engine oil sump, that's the engine and the engine oil sump. In a dry sump lubricating system, it has a very small engine oil sump because the engine oil is not stored in the sump. It's normally sucked by the scavenging oil pump. As you can see there, that's a scavenging oil pump. And it's been supplied to the oil reservoir. That's oil reservoir. Then we have the oil filter, which filters the oil. And oil cooler, which cools the oil. And we have a main oil pump. And then we have the pressure regulator and the oil is supplied to the engine for cooling. So in a dry sump lubricating system, the engine oil sump will be almost dry as the scavenging pump will be drawing the oil from it to fill the oil reservoir. So the oil reservoir will be having more storage of oil which is being regularly sucked by the scavenging pump from the engine oil sump. Now let's see how the dry sum lubricating system works. So from the oil reservoir, the oil is being sucked by the main oil pump. It travels through the oil filter, gets filtered, then it reaches the oil cooler and gets cooled. And the main oil pump sucks it and it's supplied to the engine through the pressure regulator. So the pressure regulator controls the pressure and it is supplied to the engine for cooling at the required pressure as per the pressure regulator setting. So here the engine parts get cooled, the parts like the camshaft, crankshaft, main bearings and other bearings get cooled and the oil moves down to the engine oil sump. So the oil gets filled up in the engine oil sump and directly sucked by the scavenging pump towards the oil reservoir. So and the cycle continues from the oil reservoir, the oil is being again taken by the main oil pump through the oil filter, get filtered, cooled and the main oil pump supplies it to the pressure regulator and further to the engine for the cooling purpose. So that's how uh, the dry sump lubricating system actually works. Now let's see the advantages of the dry sump lubricating system. The advantages, first one is uh, it's lower center of gravity and better aerodynamics for the entire vehicle. As the engine oil sump can be of the smallest size here because the oil is not literally stored in the engine oil sump, the engine can come down because that space can be utilized where the engine oil sump normally takes for a wet lubricating system and the engine is lowered. So the center of gravity and better aerodynamic design can be achieved. The second advantage is more power can be generated. As there is no oil splashing below the crank, uh, this more power is generated. The third advantage is when there's more power, more power also means more efficiency for the vehicle and better fuel economy. The fourth advantage is it can reduce emission due to the use of warm oil instead of cold oil at startup. In wet lubricating system, cold oil is used initially during startup for cooling, but here warm oil is used because it stores warm oil in the oil reservoir in a dry sum lubricating system. And the fifth advantage is engine oil change interval can be extended even further or longer due to the storage of more oil in the reservoir. So a dry sum lubricating system or engine has more oil stored in the reservoir compared to a wet lubricating system. So these are the advantages. So we believe you uh, get benefited from this video tutorial. If you have any doubts, please drop it in the comment section below. Please see the description below for more details. And uh, you can reach us on Facebook or social media or even through WhatsApp. Please make sure that you subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.